as I continue to work on the light show extender, I ran into some issues, one of which was cross or excuse me, cross origin request scripting or C O R S. What that means is that the script is trying to contact another address that's not under the, the current domain. So to prevent that, the browser prevents that. And in other, on the other aspect of it, the server will prevent that. So you can't have one website going, making API calls or uh, other calls to a different website via scripts. So what I ended up having to do was that I had to change my perspective on this. So I now have the jukebox API file that will be a part of the almostengineer.com. It will also be a part of its own subdomain called lightshow.thealmostengineer.com. The reason being is because the security settings I had to change for the subdomain so that my custom application can reach it. At the same time, I want my website to be able to utilize both the API as well as the scripts file that I created so that the pages load asynchronously and don't have to do a refresh of the page. Because of those things, I now need to update the deployment for the website. So what I'm going to do is to actually create a, another folder in here so that the all of the stuff related to the website will get deployed as part of a single push. Now, in some cases, like the Light Show website, will probably only need to be updated maybe two or three times a year. However, because I want to have that as part of the uh, GitHub actions and deployment strategy of CICD for the website, I'm gonna go ahead and add it in. So the website, excuse me, the API will have two files. It will have a, and I'm not sure why the terminal is acting up right now. Uh, it will have an index file and then it will have the API PHP file. Um, and then the website will exist as it is with the content that it already has in addition to a bit more. All right, so what I want to do is to uh, MK docs because I haven't done this in a while, so I'm not sure what I need to type, but I know I need to type something to get this to work. All right, so we're going to do MK docs and I want to create a new project and I want to create it in website lights. Okay, and so I should have a website lights folder. Got it. All right, so now that I have that, I want to come over here to my configuration and I want to add, uh, let me do this. So we'll do run, we'll delete that, and I'm gonna call it uh, website lights, and this one will be website lights. Now what's gonna happen is when it deploys the main website, it deploys it to the website branch. When it deploys the lights website, it will deploy it to the website lights branch. So two different branches accomplishing basically the same thing. All right. The next thing I think I need to do is also to come down here to the login to production and add another command that will go. Um, so it needs to CD up one level to the light show, the almost engineer .com directory. And then I want to add in get pool origin website lights all right and so what i have in my deployment part of my deployment setup is that once the static site generator builds the content and commits it to its own branch uh, it will then go log into the production directory and pull it and so it has that latest latest content on the website and the same thing will need to be done for the light show content as well and i don't have automated tests but at some point i will have automated tests <coughs> all right so the next thing i need to do is to set up the website lights directory and i believe what i had going and i may still need to do this um, i had an index file what i want to do is to actually let's look at 
Uh, so I think the current light show file has a redirect in it to the light show page. And so I think I want to take that same content and just move it over instead of trying to create something new or anything else of that nature. So what I want to do is to remove all of this and we'll name it a uh, light show. And then we'll say, uh, please visit the, uh, this page has moved to, and then provide the new link, which goes to, um, the almost engineer.com slash light show. And then in parentheses, put the full link. All right, and then that'll be it for the index page. Come over here and we'll do this as the almost engineer. And I wanna copy some of the items from the configuration over to the other site. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just copy the whole thing here. So we'll do that, copy paste and um, so we'll set this as light show um, and then also set this as light show. Um, those things are the same. The static templates, this does not have a 404. Um, actually, it will use the default theme. So I'm not sure what the default theme is. Straight use directory URLs. All right, so next thing I need to do is to go to the mkdocs website because the mkdocs website has information that I need to know about setting up the configuration. And if you're using a static site generator, uh, a lot of times the configuration will have everything that you need to know about how to set things up. All right, so the basic theme, let's see, user guide, choosing the theme. This is what I, I think I wanna look for. So. <laughs> read the docs is one of the defaults uh there's us okay uh, read the docs so yeah we will stick with mk docs as a default um so we're getting rid of that language is english static template and so using by putting this php file here will deploy the php file that it will eventually have in its directory however i could just take this out altogether and uh, i think i actually am going to just take that out altogether and then what i'm going to do in my or as part of my deployment strategy i will have it copy the um so i'm going to add another thing here that will do copy slash p jukebox api.php to the light show the almost engineer.com directory. Okay. And so then I don't have to have two copies of that file in my version control. When it deploys to the primary website, it will then copy it over to the light show website as well. Now, at some point, I may actually change this up so that the Light Show API, excuse me, the Jukebox API file does not have the content that is needed by both sites, and thus I can only have it in one place. But as it currently stands, this is how I'm having to do it. All right, so that is done for that. So let's come back over here. Uh, and this remote branch is uh, Website Lights. And the remote name is origin. Uh, the repository information. We'll take that out for now. And I believe everything else in here is good as is. All right, so coming back to the configuration here, we'll check one more other thing in here just to make sure all is good. Um, and I believe everything else is here. Yeah, it's good. And so when I do a push to production so as you see here on a push to main 
which basically is the, uh, you know, my, some people have master, I have main on for my primary branch. And then, so when you do a build, set up Python, install the necessary stuff for it. And then, which I'm not sure if I need even need MK docs material anymore. So I'm gonna comment that out and see if it, uh, has any issues going forward but i don't think it will so that would actually speed up the deployment process because i didn't realize that was still in there i'm still using 1.1.2 for mk docs because there was a future version that had issues i'm not sure if they fixed that so that is something i need to look into as well when it comes to using the deployments because somewhere in there they changed things and things were breaking and i wasn't able to publish or update my website which was pretty bad all right, so actions, check out V2. So I'm, I, there is a V3, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch that to V3 as well. And then the remainder of this stuff, uh, as it currently stands, I need to um, go ahead and comment that out because I'm not running automated tests. So there's no sense in pretty much any of this down here running. However, I do need it to remain because at some point I do want to have things ran and verified after they have completed so i want to leave that in there and that is everything i guess i can move some of this blank space in between some of these lines here because it's pretty straightforward to see the command on these lines uh, but only in the scenarios where things like might have disintentions that may want to consider spacing things out or whatnot and let's see what else do i need to do for this i believe that's it so i did copy over the php file that i was hat tracking in the light show extender repository over to this one so it will now reside over here instead of having it in both places because of the fact it is really being deployed with the website and not necessarily with the application to the falcon player that being said that wraps things up on this particular portion of the project and updating the configuration and creating a subsite. Have any comments or questions about C Sharp web development, software development, or anything tech related? Feel free to drop them down below. I'll be glad to answer them in a future video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.